Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina. Before we get started, let me just give another big shout out to my father-in-law, Brian, who is making a slow step-by-step -step recovery. Our thoughts are with you, Brian, and, uh, and just hang in there. Well, for today, I have two new products for review, one of which was kindly sent to me. Uh, in fact, a number of these are sent to me by the Artisan Soap Shop. Jenny Peck from the Artisan Soap Shop reached out to me to provide these, uh, these soaps and balms um, for review. Uh, she sent through three scents. There is the Lime Mint, which I'll be using today. I've been using it all week. The other is Agave, which is uh, labeled as a dark cucumber and cedarwood scent, which smells fantastic. And then there's also something called the Crisp Vetiver, which is a mix of a light citrus scent, some sandalwood, and uh, some other scents, which also smells very nice, a very nice light take on the vetiver. But today's soap is going to be the Lime Mint. Let me just show you what it looks like in the container first. I've scooped out a little bit. This is a big container. This is a six ounce container, I believe. So you're getting quite a bit of soap for the, uh, for the money. Uh, this is also a very simple soap. In terms of ingredients, there's really only a few in here. Let me just tell you what's in here because the list is, well, it's coconut oil, stearic acid, glycerin, and fragrance. That's really about it. So sort of uh, at one end of the spectrum from many of the other soaps you're seeing on the artisan market today, which is of course full of all kinds of butters and other oils. A very, very simple soap, but that does not in any way mean that it provides some kind of lower end performance, which we'll talk about in just a moment. The razor. The razor is a razor on loan from a person who has been providing just wonderful items for me to use. It is a Wolfman. And you remember when I said a few shades ago that that would be the closest I ever got to a Wolfman razor, that Franken razor that I used, which was the um, the fender hen with the, with the Wolfman pieces? Well, he has kindly loaned me two two custom Wolfman razors. Uh, and I think these are custom and truly one of a kind. This particular one, um, just holding this carefully so that the washer doesn't come off. This Wolfman is uh, a slightly longer head design so that there is no end cap protrusion. Right, the ends of the blades do not stick out past the, uh, the end of the cap, so, which is a very nice design. I don't believe that is the case today for a standard Wolfman razor. Um, it does have a little inscription Wolfman WR1. Uh, this is the standard handle. Uh, I am using a Gillette Silver Blue for the fifth time. Uh, machining and detail on these are obviously fantastic. It just it looks amazing. The knurling on the handle is incredibly deep. Uh, there is zero slip with this handle. The motion of the threading, it just feels fantastic. Just overall, clearly very, very well done. Uh, it is this blade that I'm using for today. So that is in fact a one of a kind design and the one for next week will be a similarly a one of a kind design but which looks very different than the one I'm using for today. Today's brush is going to be a return of the Samoog Owners Club. The boar just can't stay away. I have some of the soap pressed into my Captain's Choice loading bowl. I'm going to load pretty heavily. I'm going to load with a bit of a dry brush. Um, this soap really reminds me in a lot of ways, um, just on its ingredients list and sort of the way that it feels when you start lathering it with the Chung Fung Sing or the, the TFS soaps. Um, a very simple, uh, a very simple soap recipe. If you start too wet, you're going to get a very frothy um, sort of proto lather going. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want, that's great. But um, it can mean quite a bit of spillover. And it can take a little bit extra work to get that lather really going. So I'm going to lather a little bit dry. You can see even with that, a little bit bubbly to start with. All right, I'm gonna add just a touch of water, but you can see what's already happening. Already starting to build up quite a nice, quite a nice lather in there. The scent, scent really comes through when you start to lather and you get a bit of water on it. It is just a nice, crisp, clean, uh, not overly sweet lime and mint scent, which I really quite like. I sort of just picked it random. You know, I have three of them to pick from, and I just sort of picked it random. I just shuffled them around the desk, closed my eyes, and pick one. Um, and I wasn't mad that I picked this one at all because I do like lime and I do like mint. Yeah, you can see what's already starting to happen here. A nice, dense, kind of creamy, creamy lather. I'm gonna load a little bit more. I'm gonna take that lather out of the bowl. That is not gonna to go to waste. All right, let me just gather up a little bit more. If I need to reload during the shave, no issues. There's still plenty in the bowl. I've added just a drip of water in there. And this soap is actually 
is actually pretty thirsty in a way. I think you can get away with a bit of a drier lather, but I don't see any reason to do that. If you start off with a very foamy lather uh, and it looks like it's not going to work out, just keep just keep working it. And in fact, it comes together very easily. You can sort of see what's happening already. It's becoming a bit of a creamier lather, a little denser. That's going to 100% take more water, which I'm going to add in just a moment. But it already has kind of a, a very soft, creamy feel on the face. Scent strength is not overpowering, it's not really strong, but it's definitely present. Yeah, look at that. That's very, very nice, but a little dry, so we just add a few drops of water to the brush and then just paint that in and then just work it up. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, don't be fooled by the fact that this is a simple ingredient list. I, I, would be, I think it would be foolish to overlook the soap just because you think there isn't enough in it somehow. There we go. All right, the Wolfman. Here we go. So let me just say before I start shaving, I started off the week with a Voskhod blade and I have to tell you that the first shave or two were not at all what I was expecting. Um, normally what I do is I just, without a lot of prep, I know this may sound ridiculous to some of you, but the first shave with the new razor, I just shave. I don't think about it too much. I just start using it. just to see if it kind of falls into what for me is a more intuitive, natural, natural position to hold it. And for me, that natural position is with the handle a bit more vertical. Well, those first two shades were not great. And that's simply just a matter of the of the angle. The first shave was not good. The second shave was definitely better. The third shave, I switched to this Gillette Silver Blue Blade and focusing a bit more on the angle. Much, much better. I think part of that is just the, uh, the way the head is designed. The blade actually is not really that curved in there. It's kind of flat. Reminds me a bit of the uh, the Parker the 24C. This is not required nearly as uh, as extreme an angle as that razor did, but definitely required a little bit of adjustment. Razor feels incredibly solid in the head. The knurling is deep. There is no slip. Excellent blade control. Like you don't feel there's any give or chatter in the blade at all. You can feel the blade, but it doesn't feel at all dangerous or loose or anything like that. Nice trim head design too for those of us with the uh, the more petite noses. Certainly appreciate the uh, slim design there. Handle is heavy, so the razor itself is heavy, and it's definitely handle heavy, not head heavy. All right, very nice, quick, easy first pass. Good slickness on the soap. When you rinse it, you got a good, uh, good residual slickness as well. Just take a look at the lather on that. Man, that water dripping down my arm just. All right, let's pull some of that lather off and just reapply. And like so many other soaps. Having had it sit on the brush for a little bit, it's just a little less airy. 
wonderful soft creamy feel to it. I mean, there have certainly been some disappointing soaps in the last year. But man, there are so many great options from the simple to the really complex. And this has been real pleasure to use. Beautiful creamy lather, easy to lather. The scents are great. Again, they are simpler scents that are being offered them by some of the other um, artisan soap makers, but still very enjoyable. You know, it doesn't always have to be a race to the most complex, most dense, most sophisticated. In a lot of cases, straightforward, great performances, just as valuable. All right, across the grain. And uh, by the way, for the Suffolk Shaver, I know that it seems like I've done way more videos than just 100. That 100 seems low, but to me, that number seems like a lot. I did not count in that total count the, uh, like the tutorial videos. I only counted the actual shaving videos. But still, 100 sounds like a lot to me. On the other hand, I also only, really only ever do one video a week. That format has been working out very well. Really had a chance to get used to these products. This would have been a case, for example, where I would have said after that first shave, man, this Wolfman, completely not worth it. And that would have been a big mistake. Definitely a case where first impressions, they matter. But often are wrong, too. be a little bit careful about over shaving here just because combination of stress of family events and work related stress have just had you know taken a bit of a toll I'm sure I'm not the only one out there who can sort of feel the effects of what's happening see them come to life as it were Yeah, soap really is making this shave so easy. Lovely refreshing scent. Now, I'm also one of those people, I sort of don't really worry about pairing scents with the season, but I can well imagine if you're looking for like a kind of a refreshing summer scent, lime mint would make a very good choice. Yeah, these last two shaves, the last three shaves, have been an absolute world of difference from that first one. And just, again, just good to stick with it. Now, on the other hand, for something like the Parker 24C, which I really did give the old college try and on his go, that razor just was 100% not for me. That was just never going to work out. All right, I think there may still be enough soap in there. We'll see. If not, the against the grain pass, then... I will happily regather some from the loading bowl, loading dish, container, whatever. And thank you all, by the way, for the very kind words after last week's video. It means a lot. Definitely going to keep it up. First century done. Time to move on to the second one. And definitely plenty of stuff still in the queue. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely soap. I'm just going to pull some of that off. I've also been taking a slightly different approach for the third pass. If I have a bit of time, is rather than do too much extra buffing at the end, is just do a very quick relather just underneath my chin. So that may well happen today too. We'll see. All right. 
against the grain. Here we go. Yeah, particularly on this side of my face where I can definitely tell this is just 100% stress-related skin breakout. No pressure, just really letting it ride over the skin. Yeah, it's funny how we sort of all gain the benefit from instant communications in today's world. Instant messaging, Facebook Messenger, you know, Instagram, whatever, whatever it is that you're using to get messages to and from people. Big benefit, but it also creates its own its own set of problems in the sense that if, for example, you were waiting to hear from somebody about outcome of tests in the hospital, and it seems like hours are going by when normally messages are flying every minute, I'm sure it makes that time crawl. On the flip side, then as soon as there is something to share, you hear about it immediately. So, yeah. Whew, easy, easy shave. I've had just a, uh, a touch or two, very small, just small blood points, just, just like that here. And that is 100% just skin right now, not super good. But you know what? Small price to pay. Really in the scheme of things, absolutely nothing. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just, just double check. Yeah, right under there, I'm gonna make another very quick pass. Let's see what we got. Try to really clean that up a little bit. Here we go. easy but you can see for example right here it's not really a cut just you know just a little thin just blood comes to the surface doesn't matter not gonna bother me one bit so yeah well very nice and very slick this is the only spot get the grain right around here where I have struggled with this razor a little bit and in that particular regard it is actually not that comfortable for me just in that one spot against the grain it reminds me a little bit of the feel of the um, Icon 102 not exactly super comfortable in that area but certainly taking the hair off but because it's not comfortable and this may be happening to you too because it isn't really that comfortable you tend to sort of adapt or adjust the angle a little bit and that actually leads to uh, less efficiency so sometimes if you just sort of shave through the discomfort which I don't recommend but I know that people do that you can sort of push through and get that get a bit of a closer shave 
For me, I'm always gonna err on the side of comfort versus a completely super clean shave. All right, now uh, I'm gonna rinse off my face real quick. Try to get the remaining soap out of my ear and off my face, towel off. Soap is a little hard to rinse off in the sense that there's a very slick layer left behind. There we go. That is mostly good. Yeah, comfortable, comfortable, easy shave. Just have to watch that one spot down below. We'll have to see how that goes with the other Wolfman, uh, the other Wolfman head design. I think this is the the sort of the normal aggression, um, sort of the mid range uh, for the uh, for the head designs. Um, the razor does not feel aggressive at all. It feels like it's in very very good control. There's just that one spot. You, know, you can see maybe nick myself a little more than usual there, but not to worry. Okay, now I was going to be also using to follow today's shave the aftershave balm that they sent. So I actually have two of these in the lime and the agave. Uh, I will show you what it looks like. It's not a milk, it is a slightly more liquid, it's not a milky liquid, it's a slightly more viscous liquid consistency. Um, they both smell strongly of the scents um, that they're that are included. My only problem with these balms is absolutely not the performance. They soak in quickly, made my skin feel good, but I did have a reaction to both of those, which I've had with other ones as well, other vendors' balms. Um, something about the probably the fragrance strength is what I'm going to imagine. Put it on, soaks in any meaty kind of hot skin, which not uh, so I really I can't I can't use those because it just makes my skin hot immediately. But that is not a slam on the quality of the balm. It's just that in my particular case. That fragrance, whatever that fragrance strength is, and I imagine it's that uh, the fragrance is doing it, immediate hot face. So I'm going to skip on that one, which is unfortunate because I really like the way that aftershave bomb felt going on. So that is kind of a bummer, but not to worry. Those are going to get passed on intact to some other lucky souls. Today's aftershave is going to be, I think it's going to be a great fit, the Mirasol. This is going to be the Formula C, the lightly grassy mint. Now, again, every day, the same, the same thing. I've definitely had an immediate, more than a usual tingle. Nothing bad at all, but definitely letting me know that that razor has really taken it off. Whew, wow. Man, that was a very nice shave. Yeah, you can sort of see what's happening here skin-wise. Just have to really watch that. That's just a clear sign that time to take some deep breaths. Take some time to relax and kind of uh, just gather my gather my strength again a little bit. All right, wow, well, man, not too shabby. Very, very nice. Let's run through the products again. Let's start off with the razor for today, the Wolfman. This was the WR1. This is a custom design. As you can see, there is no overhang. Beautiful, heavy, deep knurling on the handle, heavy handle, um, simple scalloped design for the head. Slightly flat, so that means that the blade is really not that curved. For me, although a very efficient razor, in some spots not as comfortable as I would like. I think that's just a matter of just the uh, the blade angle. But that's that's just for me, and that is just in one particular spot. That's just under here, and you can easily adapt to that, changing the angle a little bit and slightly changing the approach that you're using. Uh, very very nice razors. I realize these are extremely hard to come by, um, so I'm I feel very lucky. I'll have a chance to try out two of these. So I'll be looking forward to the next one next week, which is a very different design, uh, head design, than this one. The soap for today, the Artisan Soap Shop, the Lime Mint. A beautiful, simple soap, a very clean, just a very clean, fresh lime and, uh, and mint scent, which goes actually goes very well with that Mirasol Formula C. Um, it's a big size container. Beautiful, easy to lather, as you can see, no issues creating a lather. A very slick lather, certainly when you're rinsing, just have to keep going at it because that layer stays on there. Really been uh, very quite happy with that soap. And I have two that I have not yet used, so I may well be doing um, a giveaway the North Carolina um, Wet Shavers Meetup. I may have those available there for, uh, for some giveaways as well. Because there's a lot of soap and there's no way I'm going to go through all that and someone else should get the benefit of enjoying those soaps as well, not just me. Today's brush, the beautiful Samoag Owners Club. Beautiful, this is the cherry handle. 
Uh, just a beautiful bar knot. Ah, what can you say? It's an old classic, an old standby, and one of my favorites. I just absolutely love it. And of course, to close out once again, and I am very glad to hear that Chris Basket is enjoying this because these are not really cheap, but you do get quite a lot in the bottle, and the bottle is just super cool looking. Anyway, the Mirsol Formula C, which is a great fit for that uh, for that soap. Well, that's it for today. I guess we're going to call it quits with that. That was uh, that was really pretty nice, actually, everybody. That was a lovely... Mm, yeah, wow, that is super smooth. Still sweating from the shower. Yeah, that was a fantastic, fantastic shave once again. Just a wonderful collection of products. Um, I just want to say thank you again all so much for watching. Number 101. Let's keep going until we hit 200, see if we can make that happen. Um, thank you again all for your comments and your questions. And uh, just want to say thank you so much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.